Hello guys, so for today's video, I'm going to show you the proper way on how to rock out and rock in our onboard air circuit breaker. By the way, the supplied voltage onto our main switchboard is 440 volts. Technicians are on board to do the upgrade of our PMS system. So come and join me in this new learning. So the upgrade that we will be doing is that we will install a new current transformer into our bus bar. And to do this, we need to isolate the main switchboard, which will require the rocking out and rocking in of our air circuit breaker. I have made a separate video on how to put the vessel under blackout during the installation of these current transformers. So I will just put the link down below. So prior to the job, a familiarization and orientation was carried out so that the crew will be doing this job safely. So these are the current transformers that will be installed in each lines on the bus bar separately on individual generators and to our shaft generator. This will measure the load in each line so that we can have a load sharing in each generators. So after ensuring that everything is clear, then we proceeded into the isolation of our main switchboard. Which is the first thing that we need to do is to isolate the generator and rock out each individual air circuit breaker. So the main supply from our generator going to our main switchboard is 440 volts. And each generator has individual air circuit breaker which is made by Terasaki Electric Company. So the first step that you need to do is to make sure that the air circuit breaker is in open state. So this is the way how it looks like. This circuit breaker can also be put into test mode whenever you want to test the mechanism of the breaker. This red lever here will play a very important role during the rocking out of our air circuit breaker. The step-by-step -step procedure on how to rock out this air circuit breaker is also written in front of the air circuit breaker itself. But as for your reference, I made this video. So the tools that we need for rocking out this one is just on the side of uh, this breaker. So we just need to remove this one. So after taking out that special tool, then we can unscrew these two bolts. So these are the Terasaki technicians who's doing the rocking out so that I can show to you the step-by-step -step procedure. So after releasing the bolts, we can push this lever down. Both on each side. After that, we need to push this up and then we can have access on through this hole, which you will see in this step. Then we can insert the proper tool and we can start rocking out as a air circuit breaker. Notice the red lever that we push down. This will go all the way down it means that the air circuit breaker is in test mode so we need to bring it up so that we can continue the rocking out of the air circuit breaker and then eventually it will go up again and then just continue the process until we reach the disconnection line so at this state our air circuit breaker is fully disconnected so we will all be rocking out this air circuit breaker so that we can fully isolate our main switchboard. Please do not forget to earth the bus bar so that it will be very safe for the crew to work on this bus bar. 
again i made a separate vlog on how to put the vessel under blackout so i'll just put the link down below so after considering all the safety procedure and the proper isolation of our main switchboard we are now ready to install the current transformers so we will be installing all the current transformers in each lines the rst of each generators which is this location and the orientation is the same as what i have shown you a while back in this video as you can see the crew will really be going inside our main switchboard so it is really important that you should know on how to properly isolate the main switchboard the space that you will be having to access this bus bar is so little so it is really imperative to isolate it properly so that it will really be safe for everyone so the installation took us around six hours and we did this simultaneously in each generator panels good thing that we have a very good teamwork in finishing this kind of job that is why this team deserves a good commendations after ensuring that everything is in place, so we need to put back everything. Then we need to do a thorough check in each bus bars. We need to ensure that there is no tools hanging in there, bolts that have fallen, and anything that may cause short circuit into our bus bar. After that, it is now time to rack in our air circuit breakers. To rack in, we need to use the proper special tool and then we put the lever into its proper position. And then we can insert the tool and start racking in our ACB. Same as what happened a while back, the lever will go down and we just need to put it back to its proper position and we just continue the racking in of the air circuit breaker. You have to ensure that it is really fully in because these bolts will not go in so you need to tighten it properly and then you can start tightening these two bolts and then put the lever on its upward position since the main engine is causing a lot of vibration that is why tightening it properly is a must after that please Put back this special tool to its proper place so that the next time you will use it, it is always available in there. So this is the proper way on how to rack out and rack in our Teresaki air circuit breaker. After this, we restore the power. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And this is your Lucky Jake and see you.